I was confused was, yes, am I for or yes, am I against or no, I am for or no, I'm against. The question on the ballot reads in part, are you for or against the Jefferson County Board of Education levying a real estate and personal property tax of seven additional cents per $100 of valuation? But voters cannot answer whether they are for or against. Instead, the ballot answers are only yes or no. What I've learned is that JCPS submitted the question as, are you for or against a property tax increase? But a spokesperson for the Jefferson County Clerk's Office told me their software doesn't allow them to print for or against as an answer, only yes or no. We follow the statute. We're very clear you know, with our attorneys to make sure we wrote the language as the statute states. Um, and so we had we had nothing to do with the yes or no part of it, but we're gonna make sure that we just make the case to the community. I think if we do that, we'll be fine. Local business leaders have formed the group Yes for JCPS in support of a tax increase. We need to support our public school system so they can better educate our students. And we shouldn't let a couple of words on a ballot and the way something's worded get in our way of the important work we have to do in our community. But there's also a group called No JCPS Tax Hike. Well, I wish JCPS had made the question simpler and not tried to put a sales pitch into it and just asked, you know, are you for, are you for the tax hike? They say it's not fair to ask voters if they are for or against, quote, better supporting the education of students in Jefferson County Public Schools. Either way, a slip of paper explaining the question is included in absentee ballots and signs will also be posted in polling locations to clear up any confusion. I don't want to see this tied up in the legal courts. Uh, if uh, if this is uh, a if this is something that's necessary, then it should be cut and dry and clean and and understood by by everyone who's who's going to be filling out a ballot. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.